How to Get Rid of Gasoline Smell in Your Car, Detail Guide Are you tired of getting into your car and feeling like you're at a gas station? Do your passengers wrinkle their noses and roll down the windows as soon as they get in? It's time to say goodbye to that unpleasant gasoline smell once and for all because we'll show you how to get rid of gasoline smell in your car. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of that gasoline smell. Get rid of it! Identify the source of the gasoline smell. This can be done by checking the fuel tank and fuel lines for leaks or damage. If you notice any damage or leaks, address them as soon as possible to prevent further issues down the line. Next, check the fuel filler cap to make sure it is tightly closed. If it's not properly secured, gasoline fumes can escape and cause a strong odor in the car. Double check to make sure it's tightened all the way to prevent any fumes from escaping. Lastly, check for any spills in the car's interior or trunk. Gasoline can be easily spilled while filling up the tank. So, check for any spills or drips. If you've checked all these areas and can't seem to locate the source of the smell, it may be worth taking your car to a mechanic to diagnose the issue. They can run diagnostic tests to determine the source of the smell and recommend a solution. Ventilate the car. Open all the windows and doors to let fresh air circulate through the car. This will help remove any stale air and fumes that may be causing the gasoline smell. It's important to do this for at least 10 to 15 minutes to ensure that the air inside the car is completely replaced with fresh air from outside. After doing that, you can also turn on the car's air conditioning system and select the recirculation option. This will prevent outside air from entering the car. It will also allow the air conditioning system to circulate and filter the air inside the car. It's also a good idea to replace the cabin air filter in your car, especially if you've noticed a gasoline smell in the car. The cabin air filter helps clean the air that enters the car's interior. Therefore, a dirty or clogged filter can cause unpleasant smells to linger in the car. Consult your car's owner's manual for instructions on how to replace the cabin air filter or seek help from a professional. Remove and clean any contaminated items. Gasoline can seep into fabrics and other porous materials. This can cause the odor to linger even after you've tried to clean the affected areas. Therefore, it's important to remove these items and clean them separately to prevent the smell from spreading. Start by identifying the area that has been affected by the gasoline smell. This could include the seats, carpeting, or any other areas where the gasoline may have spilled. Next, remove any removable upholstery or fabrics from the car and wash them separately. You can use a mixture of mild detergent and water to clean the affected areas. For tougher stains, use a specialized upholstery cleaner or stain remover. Be sure to follow the instructions on the product carefully to ensure that it's being used correctly and effectively. If the gasoline has seeped into the carpeting or padding of the car, it may be more difficult to remove the smell. In this case, hire a professional detailing service to clean the affected areas. For the rest of us, here are other steps to take as you get rid of the smell yourself. Use baking soda. Start by mixing one part baking soda with three parts water to create a paste. Apply the paste on the affected area and scrub gently with a soft bristled brush. Rinse the area thoroughly with water and allow it to dry completely. If the gasoline smell persists, you can also use a commercial odor eliminator designed for gasoline smells. These products are specifically formulated to eliminate the odor of gasoline. Be sure to follow the instructions on the product carefully to ensure that it's being used correctly and effectively. Use activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is another option you can use instead of baking soda. It's a highly porous material that is commonly used to absorb odors and impurities. To use activated charcoal to get rid of gasoline smells in your car, place a handful of activated charcoal in a container or bag. 
Be sure to wear gloves when handling the charcoal, as it can be messy. Next, place the container or bag of activated charcoal in the car, preferably in an area where the gasoline smell is the strongest. Leave it there for several hours or overnight, depending on how strong the smell is. The charcoal will absorb the gasoline odor and help neutralize the smell. Once you're done using the activated charcoal, dispose of it properly or recycle it. If the smell persists after using activated charcoal, try this. Use white vinegar. Start by soaking a cloth in white vinegar. Be sure to wear gloves when handling the vinegar, as it can be harsh on the skin. Next, place the cloth in the car, preferably in an area where the gasoline smell is the strongest. You can leave it there overnight or for several hours. The vinegar will neutralize and help remove the smell. Properly dispose of the cloth once you're done using it, or you can wash it if you still want to use it. If white vinegar doesn't get the job done, here's another option. Use coffee grounds. Coffee grounds are known for their ability to absorb odors, making them a great natural option for eliminating gasoline smells in your car. Place dry coffee grounds in a container or bag. Next, place the container or bag of coffee grounds in the car. Leave it there for several hours or overnight to allow it to absorb the smell. Throw away or use the coffee grounds as compost for your garden after you've used them to eliminate odors. If the smell lingers, do this. Use citrus fruits. Citrus fruits like lemons and oranges are natural deodorizers. Therefore, they can help neutralize the gasoline odor in your car. Start by cutting up a few lemons or oranges into small pieces. You can use just one fruit or a combination of both, depending on your preference. Wear gloves when handling the fruits to prevent any irritation to your skin. Next, place the fruit pieces in a container or bag and put them in your car. Leave it there for several hours or overnight to neutralize the odor. After the desired amount of time, remove the container or bag of fruit from your car. Then, dispose of it properly. You can throw it away or compost it if you'd like. In addition to using fresh citrus fruits, you can use citrus-based products like essential oils or air fresheners. Just be sure to follow the instructions on the product carefully to avoid any damage to your car's interior. Use an ozone generator. This should only be used when all other means have failed. An ozone generator is a device that produces ozone, a gas that can help neutralize strong odors like gasoline. However, ozone can be harmful to humans and pets if inhaled in large quantities. Therefore, it's important to follow the instructions carefully when using an ozone generator. In addition, avoid using ozone generators if you have asthma or other respiratory conditions. Ensure that you choose a generator that is suitable for the size of your car. Before you use it, remove any items that might be contributing to the smell from your car and clean any visible gasoline spills. Make sure all windows and doors are closed. Follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully to turn on the generator. Most ozone generators will have a timer that you can set to control the amount of ozone produced. Leave the generator on for the recommended amount of time. This can vary depending on the size of your car and the strength of the gasoline odor. After the recommended time has elapsed, turn off the ozone generator and open all the doors and windows of your car. Allow the car to air out for at least 30 minutes before entering. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.